how hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. How to get photos in this game. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Good question. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. Yeah, just a bit. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. It's just white. I mean, white goes virtually with anything. Thought it was black. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Don't oh, you dare. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found, like you, that's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what does this person have to be so cryptic when he talks? Today? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. I don't know anybody at all who talks like he does. Is this what they think people of the Earth speak like? I mean, my family doesn't talk like that, and you know how spiritual they are? Yeah. They're really big into, like, spirituality and, like, stuff like that, and just the spirit sh animals, the shamanistic so study. Shamanistic. I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. And, and <laughs> they don't talk like life. that at all. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy, too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Mm-hmm. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. 
I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. What? I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. What a good karma. Yay. He can go suck it. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Is there anything else here that I needed? I don't think so. Um. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Let's go ape. Let's go ape. I haven't seen Planet of the Apes for a long time. Now I think about it. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This There's has like something to do with the Kate. old Planet of the Apes, and they rebooted it, didn't they? They made a new Planet of the Apes. Yeah. I don't remember what year that came out, but I remember it happening. I know there was a recent one, like a year or two back. A year or two? That sounds too soon. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. I have to look that up. I think the first one that they re started with this newer, newer reboot. After the crappy old ones that mm -hmm. were like in the 2000s-ish, early 2000s. Uh -huh. It's uh, started with Rise of the Planets of the, of the Apes. With the remakes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just remember my dad talking about those and he said like because of like how much work and stuff they did with the, the, uh, the ape suits. Mm -hmm. Um... Like, you know, it took like eight hours to put it on oh. and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. But they said that also with like how different it made people look, they had to teach the horses not to be afraid of them because they just looked so like different to the horses that the horses were terrified of them. So alien, yeah. And I was like, so basically a lot of time and dedication. <laughs> And there's a store that looks like the Taco Bell. I think it's a... I don't know, the bus will be stopping at some point. I don't know, that seems weird to me. Like a school bus driving these kids around. Like when they use like a... Uh, kind of like a metro bus. Unless like Arcadia Bay is just that small. I don't know. I'm not used to like public, like uh, school buses being like public transport. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, I noticed that bus stop right there. I mean, unless the I, buses are, like, to avoid, like, because they're students, they, like, don't have a way to pay for, like, bus tickets and stuff. Time. The diner looks exactly the same. Right. I only know that school buses, when I was growing up, they picked you up to go to school, and then at the end of the day, they dropped you off. They yeah. They act as, yeah, like a public transit. Yeah, I don't know. Like, even if this place does have dormitories, I'm just kind of, like, I guess, skeptical and stuff. Yep. I'm ready to cash my lottery. She looks busy and stressed. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Oh, I can actually, like, speak to them after observing them. Hi. You look lost. I didn't know this. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but... I'm sure the regular bus is coming, too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. I feel are you, lady. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. Okay, guy. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. You read them. I read them. She just skimmed it over. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime <laughs> ago when I was king of the harbor. Who says Neptune's beard? By Neptune's beard I have. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a sailor if you, you haven't noticed. Have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up. Who says, like, stuff like sad vase or, like, biatch? Biatch? The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells like, I remember much. using biatch ironically. It was like, what, in the 90s? No, like Early in middle 2000s? school. Uh, mid 2000s, about. I mean, like, I can only assume that this is taking place. You know, a bit school. in the back. back no, in the it's actually 2013. Schools, yeah, it's literally two Sorry, years ago. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. <laughs> never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Besides, I mean, like, what? I mean, they have smartphones and tablets. I didn't have that in 2006. We still had, like, the Motorola Razor and stuff. I mean, I'm sure there were, like, some early smartphones that really well-off people had. But uh, other than that, like, we didn't have much. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barky. No barky. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. Forget the photo. I already got it. Oh, okay. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Snow. I don't even. Oh, weather si service baffled by snow. Hi. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story clouds. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. 
You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Before I talk to that person, I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Taking photos. Taking all the photos. Hi. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not for law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. If I had money, I'd give it to you. But I don't have any money. Okay. Don't forget to check out what that KFC was. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You thought it was Taco Bell. Yeah, the ACFC. Like, that red kind of looked like the bell. Just I don't want to well, like, buy it. It's also got like a curved sign, kind of like Taco Bell. But going by it, I thought it was like purple and red. ACFC, and it's got drive through. So it's food, maybe. Maybe KFC. Mm -hmm. I know there's like a combination KFC Taco Bell Pizza Hut. The one that's the sign that's like, I'm at the Pizza Hut, I'm at the Taco Bell, I'm at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. And then there's like KFC. Man, Which is like the smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. I don't know. It makes me feel thirteen again. Oh, coming back here. Gross. Yeah, because I need this. Taking photos. <laughs> what? <laughs> that graffiti has been here forever. No one bothered to clean it up. Arcadia Gay Sucks Deck. Thank you, redneck poet. Oh, uh, what? Huh. Has to be new. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Why does that so not sound fun? This guy has serious cojones. Oh boy. 
K-Bay 7. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. And in 10 minutes, we'll figure out where my face is gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Gross. <laughs> Automatically, you know she's a weird lady. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Hey. Eh? Hey. What's she wearing? I can't tell if they're supposed to be like paint splotches or like little caricatures. I don't know. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. You know, like, I know that this was made by like a French company all the way in France. And yet, they kind of have it nailed right on the head that people like this wear USA bowl caps. <laughs> they do. <laughs> like, I, I wonder if they're all like... They're so damn tourist. We had to make sure they live in USA, so let's put like a USA ball cap on them. Like, that seems like a thing that they do. It's like, yeah, it's, it's not even like... <sighs> what, stereotype? You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. It's either the country, their favorite sports team, or the state. Yeah. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer. Quiet. You have some people who have, like, their favorite business on there. Like, That's some... True. Like if they like the business or they work the business. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, or college. I can never or decide. college. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. 
how does Joy sound? Bossy and smartass, like you. Joy's rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Alright, whatever, River Hill Infinity Cap. River Hill Infinity? You're paying attention to his ball cap? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Fuck up yeah, his eyes. Yeah, I saw mm. coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell it's like, Justin because, well, he was in They only too. gave, like, attention. They put more attention to detail with, like, some of the more He's main cool. characters. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. But yeah, some of them I noticed have, like, weirder features and stuff, and it's like, okay. Not everyone's a winner, apparently. Drool. Want everything. To be higher resolution. <laughs> a higher resolution. Not everybody can be in 4K texture. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Although I don't really think anyone here is even in 2K texture. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. No banjo? What? That's fine. Our family never went well watching. Oh, I can't change it. It's fun. Man, now this sounds like every country song ever. Yep. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell my karma you did the right thing you moved forward with your life i did after william passed on chloe chloe chose to stay angry anyway i hope we see more of you chloe needs an old friend again joyce i am so sorry about william i have great memories of him i'm glad max that was his gift to us wonderful memories even if chloe doesn't understand yet Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? 
Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stapp. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Can I get some beer? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Not a bar. No beer? The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Bigfoot bacon. Where? Or oh, Bigfoot bacon. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Look at my coffee. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Gross. So you like your coffee black, okay. No Milk and sugar. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Incoming. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow, right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. 
But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> you don't- you don't- you seriously don't know what that means? <laughs> Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Is you that our hours. bird in the background or is it the game? Take that crap off the table, Chloe. So sad. Sure, Mom. Oh, okay. It's a loud bird. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Except that's not what the song I'm means. About what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. All right, uh, this one. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? And this one. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? No, Mom. no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. He's out to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Out he started taxes, it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? But Julie knows a party at some actor's west side loft. Supplies are endless in the evening. By the morning, they'll be gone. Everything is lonely, I can be my 